Welcome to Blade Tech. So this is a series that I am adding to my playlist on YouTube, which is Gloom Apparel's playlist, which is the company I own, which is the company I'm sponsored by. See, when you own a company, even though you suck, you sponsor yourself because you love blading, inline skating, aggressive skating, whatever you want to call it, we all love it and I'm sponsored. That's just how the world is. So the purpose of this episode is mainly because I just got new skates that you can't see right now because they're out of frame. But I can see them. They're both the same, but different, but still same. But before we get into these new skates, I want to talk about probably one of the only skates that I can skate comfortably and that I love almost everything about. And here we go. These are the Razors SL Classic, aka Basic Black, but it's called the Classic, so you gotta call it the Classic. This one I skate with no liner because um, I just I just like the feel of it. Uh, my foot's too fat. <clears throat> you fucking thought no? I just don't have a liner for it right now. You know why? Because I wear an eight nine shell in these and I always get screwed on the liner I can't fit I can fit if I'm down to cry for about an hour until I get used to it but most of the time I change the liner I prefer a 10 liner but yeah this skate up and down side to side all the way around bomb I like this skate so much because it fits my foot not perfectly but most comfortably you know what that means I'm gonna tell you what that means right now this is something I do when I get any new skate so when you first try on a skate obviously you're gonna put your foot in the stock liner and see if your foot fits in the whole skate because that's what a normal person does but when the guy at the shop turns around I take the liner out and then I put my foot inside the skate. This is a technique that I have found and maybe have created for you to know if you do need a skinny liner or maybe the fat liner it comes with. Whatever works for you. But that's just something I do now because I put my foot inside. I kind of know like ballpark on how much room is supposed to be on the side of my toes and the front of my toes most importantly the front of my toes that is all the control that I get from skates if a boots too long I'm gonna skate like a nerd I'm gonna look like I've never skated before with two inches in front of my toes that's just what I've realized after two years of constantly buying skates and just going bankrupt so in my case the stock liner in the razors sl is perfect uh, people hate them but they have rebuilt the liner for the sl as far as the classic goes that liners in this boot the only reason why i'm not using the liner is because i get an eight nine shell and i have like more of like a nine and a half ten foot so i have to have nine and a half ten liner in my boot for it to be super comfortable so usually I sell my nine liner and I try to find like a ten brand new if I can I still can't on blade trade right now but if you do let me know I do own a pair of intuitions but I have skated the intuitions in here but there's just a little bit too much wiggle room and I'm not into that. A lot of skaters that haven't skated a lot of boots, they settle on a skate because maybe they just don't have the cash flow to get another pair of skates. Or they just don't know how a skate's like really supposed to feel like a, a nice responsive skate. If it fits, it fits, but down the line you're gonna get super anal. It just it just happens naturally. 
but um, I do own Intuition liners. So they're right here. These are pretty fresh. Uh, I got them from Nickel and Dime in LA. I mean, these things feel great. It's totally the wrong one, but uh, whatever. Grab the other skate, I guess. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, left boot, left liner. That's how you do it, right? Ah, I forgot how to live life. Got the liner. Boom. Looks good. It actually looks really good with the skate. But if your foot was fatter, than mine, and it's like a nine and a half, ten. You would probably love this, but it's just not big enough to fill the whole boot, which is sad. But I still skate it like this because it's the best way that I've found so far. And this is one of the best boots I've ever skated in my life. I just wanted to start this video like this just so you know what I like Razor's SL, Intuition Liner. Ground control, feather light, three frames, and any good wheel, honestly. Wheels are wheels, but not really. You know what I'm saying. You've skated some super soft, slushy McMuffin wheels, and you just wanted to go straight back home and do something else. Alright, I think I'm ready. This is it. My new skate. Roll the music. This is the 2020 Rosies. Well, Bayou, Ba, Boo, Ba, Bia. <laughs> black. That's what they should have freaking called this thing. Everybody knows it, even if you deny it. Black skates are the best skates and the only skates you should ride. Other than gray or any dark color, dark blue, like navy. My first look at the Rosie's fifth element, I was in awe, but also at the same time, I was holding back a little bit because I know a lot of skates don't fit my foot and I cry. I really cry at night, but I can't roll with the big dogs if they don't fit. But like always, there's always one little catch that pisses me off just because I feel like I can spend less money if I had the choice and that is because like I said I get eight nine shells this liner is a nine and it's a very snug nine it don't fit who wants to buy it but yeah liner doesn't fit but I honestly think this might be my go-to skate now but you know what I do you know what liner I put in it Take a wild guess. Yep, you guessed right. The Intuition Liner. This is my best friend. He's $200, but he will hold your hand the whole way. I swear. And people say these last like three, four years, I believe them, because mine still smell brand new. And they're supposed to really not take foot odor very well, but uh, I've yet to see that. If you are a size 9 to 10 foot, I recommend this highly. I haven't even skated them yet, but I could just... I've, I've had so many skates, and I can tell you right now, by putting my foot in this and just walking around in them, I know it's going to be a great skate. One of my other favorite skates are Volos, and one of the things I love most about those skates are the sole plates. These sole plates are huge, and if you suck, and you miss on these a lot you just suck but I do feel really confident on these sole plates when I do tricks or learning new tricks great sole plates to learn on overall feel of the boots like with my hands kind of feel of course it's supposed to be a little bit softer these do uh, react very well uh, with tightening your laces they do hug your foot really well even though I haven't skated them yet, I still have done that and tested it out and they do make a difference. 
unlike a lot of other boots. They're just like literally holes there just for looks. But yeah, I can tell these are going to perform really well. Cuffs feel exactly the same as M12s or the older Volos. Really soft. Uh, they're going to be pretty flexy and I'm pretty sure they're really flexy with the stock liner because they are lower. So people love Rosies and Volos because of the low cuff. They do look really good on your feet. As you can see, that is a lot higher, but these do give you more support. They're stiffer. I can't say these aren't as comfortable because these do feel like pillows, so they could be really good. Another thing that Rosie skaters love and older Volo skaters love is the memory buckle. You just cannot beat this thing. It barely ever comes off. It's never came off on me. But if you know where you like your buckle, it's always going to be there. This is something else that I found out that's very important for me since I don't want to always be buying, you know, intuition liners because they're $200. Um, if you so happen to have a Razor's SL, look inside. There's one of these. I call it the liner protector because that's literally what it does. It protects your liners from all the nuts and screws that are within the boot. So the Rossi's fifth element unfortunately does not come with one and they do have exposed screws and little inserts that might ruin your liner. So if you have the Razor's SL89 boot it will fit perfectly in the Rossi's fifth element 8-9 boot if I can get it in. It gets stuck on the screws. You have to get it in there pretty good. But yeah, there you go. Once you get past the little screws, it's amazing. So I really hope these work out for me in 2021 because a lot of skates haven't and I'm kind of just stuck on the Razor's SL and I do want to try other skates and I hope you're it baby. But yeah, thank you for watching and welcome to Blade Tech. This is our first episode and I hope to show you some more stuff that I buy so you can see it and not skate it but maybe buy it I'm gonna start setting up my skates now bye